People who have actually had sex with a step relative, what was the aftermath? Alright, here we go. So, I meet girl. Meet her mom, and dad. The girl, and I have sex, and date for several months. She gets pregnant. I join the navy to support my new family. I leave for boot camp, and she starts sleeping around, so we break up. During this time her mom goes crazy. Her dad leaves her mom. He then starts seeing my mom. They get married. Boom. My ex is now my stepsister, and my son is now my nephew. Welcome to West Virginia y'all. Is that what they call a mountain mama? Over there? More like Mount on Mama. Thank you so much kind stranger. First silver. My day hath been made. Hooked up with dad's girlfriend's daughter before they married. Her mom found out. All she said was. Well, I'm glad you two got it out of your system, before you're related. Anyways, it was boring, and pointless. The whole, naughtiness of it was the best part. The whole, naughtiness of it was the best part. So, you are to blame for the flood of step-sibling porn epidemic. Forbidden fantasies. Marketing to a huge audience children of divorce whose parents remarried, probably more now than any other time in history. Less gross than incest, so it turns fewer people away, and is zero cost outside of a title, or a few lines of dialogue. Think about how many people out there suddenly got a new person living in their house a few rooms down who technically, wasn't a blood relation right around the time they became sexual active slash curious. Easy money for the porn people. Not me, but my older brother. For years the story was he got the clap from this older woman who took his virginity. A month ago he told me the truth. He got the clap from our stepsister, who at one point tried to sleep with me too. Bro. You were almost Eskimo brothers with your brother, through your sister. Now that's a sentence. He clapped at a and Dada clapped back. For every action, there is an equal, and opposite reaction. Smart guy. Not me but, my co-worker got his nephew a job with our company to help straighten him out, and let him live with him. A few months later he starts talking about how he's going to be a grand dad, cause his 18 year old daughter who lives at home is pregnant. We later found out his nephew was banging his daughter on the regular, and was the father of his grandbaby. Nephew got fired for failing a drug test not even six months into the gig. Pretty sure he ended up getting kicked out of their house too shortly thereafter. My best friend had sex with his stepsister. She fell in love since it was her first time, and he didn't. She then asked him to formally date her to which he refused, and ghosted her, moved out of the city. She entered a deep depression, and they haven't spoken in years. This took a sad turn. This is what happens, when you pay for the full video, no thanks. My friend did it, and now everyone calls him Step Bro at school. Better than having the nickname of Mother f My husband's brother secretly dated their stepsister. Only my husband knew about it. Despite him telling his brother that it was a bad idea, he still pursued the relationship. They had to confess to the family, because she unexpectedly got pregnant. Their mom was upset, and disappointed, but said she'd support their decision to be in a relationship, and start their own family. The father however, could not get on board, and pressured his daughter to get an abortion, and to end the relationship. They still ended up together, and had the baby. A few years later, they both cheated on each other, and ended the relationship. Family gatherings are super awkward with my husband's side of the family. Edit, I should add, when they became step-siblings, she was 10, and he was 13. They started dating when she was 23. Dude that sounds really awkward, how often do you go to family gatherings for his side? About 2 to 3 times a year. Usually during a major holiday. I feel bad for their son. He's too young to notice it right now, but I have no idea how it'll affect him when slash if he finds out his parents are step-siblings. Technically my step-cousin. My mom married his uncle. We met as adults, and hooked up quickly after meeting. 
We are married now. Whenever someone asks how we met, I just tell them he's my cousin. Meeting at the family reunion is a tale as old as time. A friend of mine from high school was dating a guy for a while and invited him to her family reunion. He said he couldn't come because he also had a family reunion that day. Surprise! They went to the same reunion. Turns out they are like third cousins. They got married and had some kids. My dad was banging my mom's sister, and I have a couple of cousin brothers to show for it. Yes, Florida. Oh, dear. Oh, brother. The outcome was dramatic and incredibly tragic. I had a colleague once who drunkenly confessed to sleeping with her stepbrother. Eventually it developed into a serious relationship. Her parents got to know and desperately tried to get them to break up. Colleague ended up dating her stepbro in secret. It's an open secret in the office at this point. Awkward, because the stepdad was also in upper management. Anyway, her parents find out again, and try to get them to break up a second time. It all gets rather public, and ugly, and quite embarrassing for her mom, and stepdad who are now senior figures in the industry running their own company. Colleague tells us that she's been given ultimatums from her mum. Doesn't describe what they are. Suddenly, she stops showing up to work, and emails her resignation. She tells HR that she's moving to the US to find some peace. Colleague also texts some folk at work to tell them that she's had enough of the drama, and moving away. A few weeks pass, and there's no news from her until her stepbro slash boyfriend starts contacting all her work friends. I wasn't contacted, but some of my teammates were. Stepbro is desperately trying to get in touch with her she's broken up with him via text. He wants to know if anyone's heard from her. He doesn't believe that she now lives in the US, and that she'd go without telling him. Everyone writes him off as a guy who couldn't handle the rejection, until he goes to the police, and files a missing persons case. Police actually made a few inquiries to everyone's surprise. It doesn't happen often, because they usually didn't give a f This is still a developing country after all. In the end the cops write the step bro off as a lovesick loon, and everything settles down. For a while at least. Step bro has gone crazy, now claiming that he thinks something bad happened to her. Says he's fallen out with his parents over it. No one at work wants to get involved in this family drama, especially since the parents are important people. Things die down again, until they don't. Fast forward two years, and no one's heard from our colleague, until the cops come calling. They've arrested her mom's chauffeur on an unrelated charge, and he confesses to murdering our colleague. Even leads them to the body. He doesn't however reveal a motive. He must have been stalking her think the police until they investigate further. Our colleague never went to the US. Turns out the emails she sent weren't from her either. They were sent after her death. The texts, the emails, and the breakup were all from her mom. She covered her tracks after she orchestrated the murder of her own daughter. All, because she wouldn't stop dating her stepbrother, and was going to marry him. Sorry for the bad grammar. English isn't my first language. I'd forgotten some details. The colleague's mom always had a strained relationship with her daughter. At social events she often claimed to be her sister, true everyone knew it wasn't true. I think Bio Dad was also involved in the murder somehow. The whole thing was one giant cluster f Not my story, but my partner's ex-friend f his, aunt. They aren't related biologically, but the aunt knew the guy since he was baby. Plus, the uncle, and him were close, and he worked for, and with his uncle. Basically, the aunt was going through a breakup with his uncle. The ex-friend, and aunt got drunk, and kept as a thing. They only stopped when the uncle got his act together, and wanted her back. Aunt told him everything, but pretty sure not the consistency of how many times. 
When the uncle found out, he called work saying he was going to kill his nephew, if not beat the living sh** out of him. The co-workers told the ex-friend, and he skipped town. Obviously they no longer have a relationship with the aunt, or uncle. Added note, completely forgot about this comment as I got preoccupied with other events. Was not expecting this. Time to look at my inbox. I got confirmation that he was 21 years old, and he did have other sexual encounters, but he lost his virginity to his aunt. Sorry, can't come in today, I'm going to kill my nephew. Okay, but I'm going to need a doctor's note. Coroner's note will do, as well. Well we had sex two times, she got pregnant. We tried to work it out. It didn't go well. She left to a different state and then threatened to come get our daughter. I got a lawyer, and filed for custody, she never responded, and I won by default. I haven't heard from her since my daughter was 8 months old. That was over 4 years ago now. Does no one remember to use protection, when they're banging a sibling, jeez. Trojan pulled a Trojan on me. My parents are stepsister brother. What's your relationship with them like? Good, I love them dearly, they are divorced, and don't communicate but are friendly with each other. Honestly, it messes up my family tree, and it's hard to understand who is who to me. Though, it's funny thing to tell people. A girl I went to middle school with was impregnated by her stepbrother. She must have 12, or 13. I think he was 17 to 19. Childhood me thought she was trashy, but adult me knows she was groomed, and taken advantage of. I think her parents more or less raised the kid as their own, and her role was more of a sister. Eek. So sad. Jeez. There was a case in Australia recently where a 19-year-old guy was having sex with his 12-year-old foster sister, who it's thought may have been pregnant. Which is messed up enough already, but then her foster father murdered her to protect his biological son. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and ring the notification bell.